Hello there! Welcome to Tech and Cash. I hope you are doing well. So today I have a quite an interesting game to share with you all. So this is my starting hand. It's not the worst, but it's also not great. So you have the two hunter in the grassland. Definitely not great for early game. Um, if I want to, the Hinga, I can play in the wetland. And then you have Stella J in the forest. I mean, the Stella J is kind of expensive. Um, I don't play a lot. I have a feeling I don't really like the Stella J. Um, and then in the tray, we also have the Blue J. And then Barn Owl, not great. But the Swallow is not bad, you know? It's always great to have a tuck and cash, or I should say, tuck and draw bird in either the grassland or the wetland. Um, it's a way to score points and you can shuffle cards. Um, it, I think it's just one of the best mechanics in the base game. So the bonus card is not bad. Ecologists, um, you know, almost guaranteed four to six points. Um, and, and here's the really risky play here, starting with just one bird in the grassland. I think the safer play here would be to play either the Hingo or the Stalo J um, to make sure you have at least one bird in the forest and one bird in the wetland. Um, but that's what I went with. And yeah, the Swallow is... Yeah, I think that was my plan. I, I wanted to play the Swallow as my wetland bird instead of the Hinga. Um, and really, if you think about it, the Swallow have to spend a turn to pick it up, a turn to pick up a Grub, and then a turn to play. So they play the Flycatcher here, um, which is, if they play it this early, it's almost guaranteed that I'll be getting free Grub. So um, I was probably thinking I don't have to worry about the forest quite yet. Yeah, so the Swallow is three turns. Oh, they play the Crow here too. So you can kind of tell they're very committed to building a food engine in their grassland. So almost guarantee that they're, they're most likely going to activate their Flycatcher a lot. That also means I'll be getting a lot of free grub. So I got the Tohi, which is nice also because I I can play the Tohi in the grassland and then suddenly I can get um, grain from the grassland and I also get grub from my opponent. So in some way, um, that's a good source of food coming um, at least for a while. Here, I, I was debating a little bit, should I pivot to the fours so I can either pick up the blue jay or even the the, the woodpecker um, because I have the grain and grub I can place those two birds pretty easily um, but that ended up drawing the raven um, and this is just the beginning of my luck in this game I, I ended up being super lucky in this game um, I just keep drawing the right card um, turns after turns, and I ended up building one of the best engines you can get in Grassland. So you'll see that in a minute, or towards the end of the game. Um, it was really amazing how lucky I was um, with this game. So... Yep, that was round one. I got the Raven. And... So that was another lucky thing too, that I did not play a forest engine. Um, otherwise, all the food that I'm... that I was getting from my opponent would really, you know, minimize the value of my forest engine. And of course, I got the Raven as well. So here, um, probably I was trying to see if I wanted to deny any of this card. Um, I mean, my opponent went first and they did not pick up any of this bird. 
Oh, I think they play one of the numbers. Ah, oh, look at this. I got the Saint Hill Crane. And you can al already see where this is going. Um, having the Raven and the Saint Hill Crane. Um, that's just such a good combo. And believe it or not, it get even better. Can you guess what bird would make this combo even better? And I must say, that was such a lucky draw because Rudy Duck is perfect for my setup as well with the Raven and the steady sources of food. I most definitely need a lot of bird and good bird to play. Um, and Rudy Duck helped me to, you know, get more cards every time I activate the, the wetland. And they play the yellow throat too, so um, they can they can find, they can dig through quite a bit of cards. And I must say in some way we have pretty similar setup. So they have food engine in the grassland and then a good wetland engine. Um, but of course um, the raven is going to be hard to beat. And look at this, I drew the Mockingbird. They just cannot get any better. You have the ra- so I have the Raven, the Sandhill Crane, and the Mockingbird. And the Tohi too, because you can get the Tohi, um, get grain from the Tohi, and then you can tuck the grain under the Sandhill Crane to get two points. Um, and with the Raven, I can always get extra grain, and then repeat the tucking with Mockingbird. So I can- I can tuck at most almost four cards um, in one turn, that's four points. That's four points on top of the eggs that I'll be laying. Um, and I also got the egg from Sparrow which I can spend to turn into more food. So this is just such a good grassland engine. Um, it, it, I must say this this got to be one of the best engine you can um, you can build in the base game. So yeah, play the Mockingbird here because I'm trying to score some points for the second round, end of round goals. Um, and I'm, I'm definitely making the best use of all the free grub that um, my opponent is giving me as well. Yeah, it's not the time to play the crane yet because, you know, simple laying eggs for the second end of round, even though if I don't win, I still score additional two more points, so, yeah. And the great horn owl that I just drew, that was, that was awesome as well, eight points in the forest. Yeah, with the Ecologist bonus card, I definitely need to play a few more birds in the forest. So in the tray right now, there were the Snipe, the Osprey, those are pretty good. One food for five points. Um, yeah, I was probably debating whether should I pick them up or not. Um, I think here I was definitely looking for a forest bird because of the third end of round go. If I can get another big forest bird, that would be nice. So they play the black bird and the blue bird. Um, that's pretty nice because they were getting extra card using their wetland, so now they can tuck those cards to turn them into points. Here, look at this. That's four points with four eggs. That's already eight points. Um, I spend one egg, but I also lay one. So yeah, that activation was eight points plus three food. Um, that's such amazing engine there. 
Yeah, I was really hoping they would pick up some of the bird in the tray so I can I can look at more options what what birds I can pick up. Um so now Yeah, I was debating whether to play the Siskin so that I can really compete for the third round bonus. I mean, look at the habitat. They, they didn't have any birds in the forest, so I guess I was feeling kind of safe that even only with two spots in the forest, I can probably compete for the end of round goal here. Again, another 8 points activation and food. Um, yeah, just such a good engine. And, you know, I, I got it pretty much up at the beginning of round 3. So, that's, that's going to help me to build such a good lead for the game. Um, and they ended up playing 2 birds um, in the forest with 6 bots for eggs so no way I can compete for that and I'm running off spots for eggs so I gotta draw some cards and start thinking about what food um, I need to get with my raven there um, the whooping crane definitely nice bonus card six points um, the white ebiz is nice too eight points and again my, my opponent will be giving me Grub. Look at this. So I, I, I didn't even have to worry about um, too much about food that I need to play this birds. So it's important to look at what bonus card. I guess sooner than later, so that I can be prepared or try to see if I can score more out of it. And if I remember, I got a pretty good bonus card too. Look at this, Ulogis. The the luck just continued. Like on top of Ecologist, I also got the Ulogis. Like two of the easiest scoring bonus card in the game. So that was the Egret and the Puffin, and my opponent pick up both of them. I don't blame them. Um, it might be kind of difficult for them to play both of those birds, especially this late. Now it's already round five and they they only have the American Crow that can only help them to get one foot at a time. And Grub was not going to help them to play the Egret and the Puffin, so that was a little bit unfortunate. So here I have five turns. Really, they, they, there are a few options here. Um, I, I could have played the still and gained a few more cards. Um, and see what cards I want to play. Um, but... I must say that I, I probably was thinking that that was kind of risky because playing the still was only two points. It's four point birds, but I have to spend two eggs, so two points. Um, versus laying eggs and tugging. Um, I only tuck once here, so but still that's that was six points. Um, So here I can play the Ebus, um, by okay, more grub. I can play the Ebus, but then I'll still have a lot of, not a lot, but I, I will still have two more turns and I don't have that many spots for it. So, that's the last turn I can lay eggs. Um, that was... 9 points activation plus the 8 from Sparrow that was 10 points activation of Grassland and yeah here my, my last turn 
I can play the Siskin. So the Siskin is three point minus one egg, that's two point. But because of Ecologist, I gain another two points. So that was four points. Um, I would say like, even if I don't play that bird, I, I just tucked twice under the crane, it was four points as well. So it will be basically the same. Um, maybe I should have played the steal and gain and draw a few more cards. Maybe um, I could have drawn some big points bird that I can play in the forest. But again, that was such a good engine um, and it, it, it helped me build such a good lead even in the mid game that yeah, it, it will be kind of hard for my opponent to beat that. And I, I really did not waste any of the free grub that my opponent gave me as well. So that was super helpful. Yeah, again, you know, it, it was just so lucky that I, I drew the Tohi and the Raven. And then I drew the St. Hill Crane and then I drew the Mockingbird. And it just all assembled into um, this one of the best engine you can get in the grassland. And of course, keeping the Sparrow in the early game um, in, in from the starting hand was was kind of, you know, lucky as well um, that, I, that I went that route and ended up with this engine. I, I could have never imagined when I kept that Sparrow um, and see how it turned into this engine here. But in any case, that was the game. Um, this, this was kind of fast. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And I'll see you in the next one.